I just got a timer going. Well, here we are again. I want to thank my uh, new lighting technician, <laughs> uh, set designer, and cameraman. My husband, Daisy. Um, I think I'm on episode 17, 17, 18, somewhere around there. Not to 20, definitely after 15. Um, oh, let me set my timer. 30 minutes. 30 minutes on the clock. Um, uh, wait. Yeah, let me go ahead and start. Expect cats or cats are in here somewhere. Um, oh, now sugar's trapping. Uh, let's, I'm going to review the categories um, that I'm separating my uh, photo drawer into. This photo drawer I have been, I've had for at least 30 years. I worked in photo labs for a decade. Um, I once wanted to be a professional photographer. I once was a professional photographer. I just, you know. Um, and um, anyway, I've just crammed stuff in this drawer. Uh, categories are, and I'm going to separate them into albums eventually. We'll see. Um, 1 through 12, stuff from school. Frameable. <laughs> Say this stuff. Glitter, all my clown pictures. Uh, landscape and scenery, pictures of stuff that I actually want to keep. Uh, memorabilia, which went into an envelope from a uh, box. Uh, me and people I love. That's the one on one pictures of people that I just love. Uh, mobile, performances. Photo career. Uh, the Thompsons, which is pictures of my biological family, or of my biological family, either way. And then, this is now NOLA. NOLA is the big box. So, here we go. Let's, let's, let's dive right in. See what we got first. Um, ah, Mia! And Mia and Gary. Um, Mia Elias, she, uh, um, she's now a lesbian. She came out, and she, and I didn't, she, she moved here, she was a massage therapist. She's the reason I met Dorian. I met Dorian Rush um, in that courtyard. That's when Dorian and I first met uh, through Amia and Gary. And um, I don't think Gary and I hooked up, but we had a little thing. I don't think we actually had sex because he was too goody goody to have sex with me. But um, that's going to go with Noah. Mia. Yeah, I got, oh, I got so stoned one night. She showed up and came out and told me she was gay, and I was so stoned I didn't even remember it. Oh, this is a great picture of Lady Carolyn in uh, Greg Cox's old apartment. Um, that was when that Deeper and Deeper video, Madonna, came out. Deeper and Deeper. And then that's the look. She's got a little uh, kind of afro mobile. Lady Carolyn. Uh, her, the, the, the restaurant she so famously worked in, Queen G's, has closed and been torn down. The building's been torn down. Um, this is, this goes to photo, photo career. That guy Chris that he keeps coming up and there's a lot of pictures of that guy Chris because um, he wanted me to take pictures of him that he could submit to modeling, uh, you know, for modeling reasons. So I, and I wanted him to take some weird, little nasty, unusual stuff. And this is just a picture of his crotch. And um, it's a part of a series called uh, 3AM. And it's uh, like, I think, 20 photographs in a... Uh, various stages of a guy taking his pants off from that, that angle, just like from here to there, slowly taking his pants off. Each one was, a sh was its own little shot. This is not the best one, but I'm going to put it in photo career because um, you have to have that one for uh, reference. Um, this is uh, my ex-wife Jill's third wedding. Her, her, she married her third husband and the father of her child, James, who's now dead. And I was uh, her her bridesmaid. That's me over here. Who's Jill? She got married at the library. Her third wedding was at the library. Her first wedding was uh, on a billboard. Her third wedding was um, at a library. And there's Mobile. Oh, what's that? That smells. Oh, oh. I, felt, I grabbed a big chunk. Way too much. Way too much for one one, one handful. Um, this is uh from obviously that same role of Mia and Gary. <clears throat> and I think that's Gary's dog. I don't remember really. Um, that, 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 New Orleans, Nola. Ding, the big box of Nola. And uh, ooh, this, ugh, it's a picture of me. You can barely see it. Um, in my old, wait, now where is that? I don't know, I don't know where that is. Um, I think it might be a mobile. Nonetheless, you you can barely see it. I'm sure you can't even see it because uh, I'm in I'm dimly lit in that little door hole right there, in an apartment. 
It could be Church Street. I don't know. I don't care. I'm throwing pictures away. Y'all just don't know. I, I, years, I, would, I said, I'll never throw photographs away. <gasps> and uh, to be throwing photographs away, and to come across this as I was saying, throw, throw photographs. This, this, what I hold in my hand is probably my prized possession in, of my photo drawer. I, I, I knew it was coming. I knew at some point she'd be here. And the thing about this photograph is I can't show it to you. I can't show it to you. If you would like to come to my house and see it, I will show it to you. But I'm not going to show it, um, but I will tell you the story behind it. Um, and how I came to uh, get my copy of this photograph. And let me just say, okay, okay. So um, there are four photographs. Okay, the story is there was a couple, an African American couple, um, who took little explicit photographs of each other and they submitted them to a photo lab. That photo lab, somebody made copies and those photographs leaked and the people who had taken the pictures found out that they had been leaked somehow. I don't know the whole story behind how that happened, but um, the people who were in the photographs sued the photo lab. I came in possession of these photographs while I was working in a photo lab, and there was a court case over that. The, the people were suing them or something, some sort of court case over that, that uh, infraction. And uh, because there was a court case, they had to make copies, which I find amazingly just what? But, um, and we had, uh, I worked at a photo lab that was down at the courthouse. And um, so I got these copies, the pictures of these, I got my copies while I was reprinting them for the court case. Shh, quiet. <sighs> okay. And there was a roll, but there's four photographs that were clearly the center of the attraction of this roll of film. And there's a, a, a black man, a black woman, and um, the there's a picture of him uh, in clothes. He's like got a pants on and a shirt, and it's taken from behind as he's peeing. And it's obviously, you can see he's peeing. He's standing at the toilet. You see the stream. He's peeing. Uh, the second photograph is him uh, laying on the bed, butt naked with a big old black dick, looking hot. <clears throat> The third photograph is her, and she's um, kind of looks like she kind of got caught off guard at a door in a doorway. You know, she's just kind of like, and she's wearing like this little purple nighting. And then there's this one, the one that I'm holding in my hand um, and looking at right now. And it is uh, a big, uh, a overweight black woman uh, with her, and it's taken from like down here, like down, like down here. And she's got her legs spread. The purple knight, he's like pulled up and she's fingering herself. She's got big hoop earrings, natural hair, short natural hair, but looks very nice. And she, yeah, she's just in the bed. Like there's like, you see the cast iron thing in the back. And um, yeah, it's a jaw dropping image and the whole story behind it, like it's going in photo career. It's going, I mean, I want to put in frameable. I don't know, I, I need something above frameable but it's going in photo career for now i don't know where that lady is and i'm sorry but i and i haven't showed it yet well i have showed it i've showed it to anybody who comes looking through my photo drawer but that has not been a lot of people i have to say um so wherever you are i'm sorry for it i hope you got a lot of money out of that court case and um i mean if that many other people have seen it why, why can't i have my own you know why not um anyway so um uh, this is we've seen an image Almost just like that, Lady Carolyn, once you're going in Mobile. Same image from the deeper and deeper days. Lady Carolyn in Greg Cox's old apartment. Um, oh, aw. Aw. This deserves more respect than that. And I actually, um, at one point when I was working at uh, Cali as Photo, um, we had the newest, most up-to-date uh, um, um, laser printer. And um, so I made photograph. I made T-shirts with all sorts of my. All my friends had a T-shirt with their name, with their on, them on it. And I made a, a T-shirt of that picture of my mother's fifth grade uh, school sh picture, school portrait. Um, I'm going to keep that out. That needs to go on our altar. I love that image of her. She's so adorable. I mean, that's my mom. Everybody who's who's who knows my mom and knows she's a big old dikey man woman. 
Um, that's my mom as a little girl. And um, when I wore, when I used to wear this shirt because I had this on the shirt. Um, people would always say, "Is that Anne Frank?" I'm like, "No, not Anne Frank. It's my mom." Um, here's a picture of when uh, Salamander and I went to Mobile, and this is Salamander, Christian, and Marcy. That's Marcy in the wig. If y'all know, um, if you know Marcy, you'll know this is surprising because she looks she's got a little short, looks like Annie wig. Um, Mobile, it's weird. I don't know. Because it's Salamander, so he's New Orleans. Mobile. Okay. Um, Marcy Little on the train tracks in her, you know, her negligee, her garters and bustier and all that. And, and it's very underexposed. Love you, Marcy. I'm throwing photographs away. What has the world come to? Um, hmm. Okay. This photograph feels familiar. But I can't tell who it is. I'm pretty sure it was at um, the old MRB. I don't know why I think that. But I don't know who that is. Um, but she's playing like shuffle ball or whatever that is. Trash lady. I don't know why. What, I've been carrying this around for how long? Uh, it's my first stalker, Anthony. When he was like... Uh, um, hmm... By that time, I would have been like 23, 24, so he was like 8 years younger than me, he was always 8 years younger than me. Um, so 24, he's 8 years younger than me. Yeah, so he was, he was like in 16 at that point. He was on the, um, he used to be on Fox, uh, they had a Fox morning show, teen morning show, and he hosted the Fox teen morning show, and he was stalking me. Um, but he's just sweet. He never meant. He was never mean about talking. He was very polite. He would he would come watch me at work and then go home and call me and tell me what what I was wearing, what I was doing. It was weird. Um, but eventually I was like, hey, let me just take you out to eat. You can ask me whatever you want and just leave me alone. I'm stupid. Okay, this is from. What's it say? Girls. Names unknown <laughs> in my handwriting. Uh, from uh, people, many people may not know, when I was in uh, 11th grade as a junior in high school, um, I was part of the Horticulture State Championship team. And we went to Disney World as something. I, I, I think we, because we won, or maybe before we won to study, I don't know. Um, and while I was there, I, all the, the, I was with the other guys in school, which that didn't happen. I mean, th that was my magnet course. This was a magnet course. This was not my regular high school. So I had a little better experience in the magnet course than I did in BC Rain, my main school. Um, so we went to, um, yeah, I went with these guys from my horticulture class and the whole horticulture class. But while we were out at Disney World, we all picked up girls. And these are the girls I picked up. Um, that's got to go in 1 through 12, right? Yeah, 1 through 12. The school crap. Stupid. I'm embarrassed. Aw, this is me and Lady Carolyn the night we went to see Grease. The, we saw the Grease, the play. We've both been obsessed with the movie our entire life. And um, we went to see Grease in uh, Pensacola. It was like a touring company. And that's me looking like Danny Zergo and Lady Carolyn as Sandra D. Um, I'm over here. Um, this is, oh, oh, I've got two here. I don't know. Hmm. All right, um, this one is when Salamander and I went to Mobile, and that's him and Venus. There's Salamander in his hot little devil outfit, and Venus in uh, some red gown. She was probably doing the number that night. Um, I don't know if that's the exact same outfit, but the first night, Salamander saw me before I saw him. He saw me at the, 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 um, fetish party when I was a clown and he, he I made an impression on him the first time I noticed Salamander I was working uh, the door at the rawhide and he comes walking up and um, he was in this I think it might have been this exact same outfit it's like a little spandex uh, underwear and tank top with flames all over it and then he's got like leather on top of that and boots on top of that and horns on top of that and wings as Salamander is and um, as he walked up the, the street to, to come to Rawhide, I just said, um, you can have my soul right now. Would you, do you want it? Here you go. And, uh, yeah. I, I loved him immediately once I noticed him. Um, yeah. And that's him in, in Venus. Um, no, you're on Mobile. And this is, uh, 
I said it before, and I might have to, in between episodes, do it. Uh, this is just a picture of Venus. Um, Y'all. I don't know where that picture just went. I swear to God, I just dropped... Oh, there it is. Oh. I can't believe it. Um, beat out of her mind in a red... Red Afro wig and, like, red, black, and, and uh, white camo dress. Looking hot, Miss Venus on TV. That goes in Mobile, obvious, I think. Um, yeah, I, Venus might need her own, um, her own folder. I might need to do that. Um, me and Anthony and Lorraine, Rachel, I can't remember her name, but that was uh, my 26th birthday, the last birthday party um, at, in Mobile, Alabama. Mobile. And I had my hair done like a uh, Boy George and the little spikes, multicolored spikes. Mm hmm. I talked to us about this before when uh, the year that uh, Venus was Miss Gay Pride Mobile, whatever, Mobile Gay Pride. And uh, as she, the night she like did the little number gave up her crown. I don't remember. I, I'm i thinking I know I'll never love this way again is what I'm thinking, but I can't swear to that. Whatever it was, she had the whole bar crying. Society Lounge, Mobile, Alabama. Um, she had the whole bar crying. Um, Jill and husband number three, James, uh, in the photograph at the wedding at the library. Maybe I'll. Next. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> this is a picture of me and Stefan um, at Ho John's. And um, it was a fundraiser we did. And it was a gong show. And uh, I went as Meg Bundy. Peg's ugly sister. So I'm, I'm dressed as Peg Bundy, basically. And that's Stefan in a little B-52s looking hula, hula hoop dress. And Venus um, was Daisy Duke. She had her, she came as the Daisy Duke. She had her tooth blocked out and wore the Daisy Dukes. Mobile, Alabama. And, um, yeah, and we would, like, fight each other over it. It was fun. It was a fun, fun night. But we fought each other to get to the gong. Um, here's <laughs> Marcy half naked in a construction site. Where does that go? Photography career. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay, next. Um. <laughs> at some point, my mother. My mother used to collect. Um, is Marcy in the bed with a teddy bear? Um, my mother used to collect teddy bears to the point that one time after I left um, left that house. Uh, I went back and she had had, she, the, my old bedroom was filled with garbage bags filled with teddy bears. And, um, and her room was had just teddy bears all over. And, uh, and the windows had like aluminum foil on it. So Marcy and I, I well, um, I thought it would be a great idea to have Marcy in her underwear in my mother's bedroom. Um, not one of the better images from that shot. So I'm going to, she's gone. Another, another photograph bites at us. Um, that's Shannon, the chick that uh, introduced me to William from Sarasota. He, he keeps coming up, and this is the, the last birthday party in Mobile. Um, and that's Marcy's old boyfriend. She was living, I think. Oh, yeah, but sorry, Shannon. I really do like you, but uh, I don't know either of those guys, and I think I don't like one of them, I think. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know who these fucking people are. Anybody? Anybody? One once? One twice? Anybody? Um, maybe this is all Rat Race Choir from the Rat Race Choir. Um, maybe I don't know. Some trash now. Memory loss. <clears throat> uh, that guy Chris, what try was trying to be a little, you know, magazine. Yeah, there's some good ones. That's not a good one. Um, oh. I get so sentimental every time I see a picture of Ambrosia. Um, uh, Ambrosia, Ray Henry Ulrich. You can be, find him on Spotify as Radio Jesus. And uh, Sasha, Steve Brownfield. Ambrosia is about 10 foot tall in that photograph, and I love her for it. I miss you, Ambrosia. Oh my god, I love you so much. Um, Nola, Nola. I've got one. I, put, I took one from my re a recent and um, put on my altar. Um, Marcy in a half naked in a construction zone. That's, um, that would be photo career, of course. Let's reach to the back and see if we can get something different. 
Uh, that's Venus and uh, Craig, I think is his name. I'm pretty sure that's the old uh, Troopers and Mobile. The first, the bar I went to on my 21st birthday. Not the first bar, gay bar I went to. That would have been Hojon's, but um, the first, the bar I went to on my 21st birthday. Joey, um, blue hair Joey has, that's one in Mobile. Uh, blue hair Joey has the disco ball from Troopers in his courtyard. Um, this is from the Renaissance Fair, but I don't know. Who, who did I go with? I'm, I'm putting it in NOLA. I'm not even thinking about where it went, but I don't want to throw it away. Renaissance Fair proof. I did go to a Renaissance Fair. Um, this is Carolyn and Christian. I'm not sure where, though. Carolyn Christian. I'm not going to get rid of that, though. Uh, Mobile. Mm. Uh, Greg Rocking Cat and the Straight Eights. I did a... Some band photogra photography for them. That's a good one. That's going to go in photo career. Not one of the better ones, but um, I like some of those. I did. The, I had a, a fisheye lens, which I borrowed from. Uh, oh, that's a good one. I borrowed the fisheye lens from work. I could not afford a fisheye lens on my own. Um, that's a good one. I'll keep that one. Good. I'm not going to keep all the grit rocking cut and straight eights uh, photographs, but um, what? Why? Uh, some hotel. Gulf Coast Inn. A, a, a postcard from a hotel in other fucking Gulf Shores. What is wrong with me? Good lord. Um, I'm going to throw this away because I, 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 I know we've come across a picture of that. It's a photograph of a, a shelf that was in the corner of my old bedroom in Church Street. And on this shelf, there is a little doll of Judy Jetson, a little troll doll, little hair, a uh, rainbow slinky uh, lobster from the lobster commercial, um, the Magic 8 Ball, Rubik's Cube, a jar filled with jacks, and a little rolling tick, the tick. Um, trash, nobody else cares about that. And I don't care about it that much, but I think it's cute to keep it. Um, oh my god. <laughs> Criminals! <laughs> It's um, Scott Garrett and Matt. Scott Garrett and Matt. And um, the beautiful thing about this photograph is uh, Scott wasn't working there. This is after Scott had quit. And Matt had quit. Matt and Scott were both at one point uh, managers of Second Skin. Uh, Matt was manager before Scott and then Scott was the manager after him. And this is both of them. I don't remember the circumstances, but for some reason they were both back in Second Skin one day. And um, they wanted to get a picture together. But they wanted to have bags filled with stuff to represent how much they had fucking stolen from Second Skin. Hilarious. Oh, yeah, I gotta keep that out for Scott. Yep, 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 yep. That's for Scott. I'm keeping that one out for Scott. Um, I, I, I really enjoy the composition of this uh, photograph of Dre Gret Trucking Cat and the Straight Eights. Photography career. Back, this, back, back corner. Let's try something back here. Oh, I got a few things. Um, oh, <laughs> oh, this is a hilarious picture. It's a picture um, of the garage. The garage is the name of that bar. The garage, downtown Mobile. Um, Christian is bending over, playing pool, and she's got her skirt up so you see her ass. And I'm drinking something and looking down like I'm really into her ass. But um, I, I don't know if that was um, posed or if... <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's a funny picture. Um... Mobile, I want Mobile, obviously. And this is a stupid picture from Decadence. I mean, and it's a picture of a guy's dick. I'll, it's a picture of, in, I think we're in front of, it was in front of uh, Oz or one of the gay bars, one of those Bourbon Street gay bars. And um, a guy was showing his dick. And that was when I came with William for Decadence. And um, I'm going to put it in a... Uh, uh, Noah... Okay, I almost put in landscapes. <laughs> That's how I felt about it. Uh, speaking of landscapes, I think I think I had a copy of this exact same thing, but I can't throw it away. Um, this was when we went to the uh, 2003, I mean 1993 Gay and Lesbian March on Washington, uh, which was the last time the AIDS quilt was uh, exhibited in its entirety. It got too large for any place to hold it uh, after that, and um, this was. 
And it went on for days. This is pe the stage where people were just getting up and saying one name after the next after the next, just reading names after names after names. And it went on for, I think it went on for days. I, did, I didn't stay for that for the whole time, but um, I think it went on for a long time. But it was a pretty uh, massive thing. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put in Mobile. Oh, that feels weird. That's just where I was at the time. Let's go. Um, Salamander, I don't know who, it, Salamander, there's like, Salamander at the back of three guys. There's like a guy in the front, a guy between them and Salamander behind the two of them. And it looks like he is telling them something devious. Wow. Uh, yeah. Working him, uh, yeah. enticing them in, enticing. I uh, know, Salamander, what's this? Uh, this is from the Mr. Macho Man number when um, <laughs> Christian and I back up dance for uh, Venus doing the uh, pull up to the bumper and then Mr. Macho Man, is it true that all the girls want to come on you? And that is Christian, of course, flipping off the audience in her red bra. Um, performances. I'm second in performances. Performances. No doubt. Um, I hate it. I hate that I hate I own this. this is just, uh, so, who knows what year, who knows what, who, what, but, but it's one of the balconies of a gay bar in New Orleans for decades. I mean, really. Why do I, why do I need all that? This is interesting. This feels like <gasps> memorabilia. This is um, the playbill from Taboo. Uh, of course, Taboo is the, uh, the musical written by Boy George. Um, Salamander and I went and saw it as it played on Broadway. It was a huge hit in London. It actually so it started off in London. It was a huge hit in London. They changed it and adapted it for Broadway. And um, there are cats parking at the door. And um, it didn't go over well. And... Um, uh, it didn't go over well, weirdly, because it, uh, Rosie O'Donnell was the producer, and um, she had some scandal or something. She had, the people were upset with Rosie O'Donnell. So all the, all the um, reviews that I read of Taboo also had more to do about like Rosie O'Donnell's drama. I don't even remember what the drama was, but it affected the, the success of Taboo. Um, I had heard that um, in London... Because it's about uh, Lee Bowery, Boy George in the play plays Lee Bowery, and um, it, a lot of people because it's all about outfits in the '80s and all. That in London when it played, a lot of people would come all dressed up. So of course I was not going to go not dressed up, and I went. Salamander made me the, the what I want, asked for was an evening clown outfit, and so he made me this beautiful sequin blue sequin, lovely. And um, Boy George, at, at the part, there's obviously a part in the play where he has the, the repertoire with the audience. And uh, Boy George and Lee Bowery with the, the, the Lee Bowery look with the ink dripping down his head. And, you know, that look, the big smile. That look uh, says, so everyone backstage keeps talking about the clown in the audience. Stand up so I can see you. Oh, <gasps> you're beautiful. And, I mean, he was my life idol. Even, like, and... For my life, I don't to like pull point me out of the audience and say you're beautiful. Yeah. Yes, you can't take that away from me. I'm still blocked from following him on Twitter, but he can't take that away from me. And I feel like if I could sit down and talk to him at some point, or you know, just get a, a, a I'm, it's going to memory. This is going to memory. If I could just get a little message to him and like let him know, tell him the the tea and that how, how it really went down and. You know, I stand by what I said. I don't just, I don't take it back what I said. But um, I think it's, you know, he's overreacted. Um, this is obviously from the, um, well, not obviously, not obviously. But this is from the, um, no, it's not that night. Okay, who I see? I see Aubrey. Aubrey, who is a little dyke that worked at Second Skin. And she's in a lot of the pictures because she was with us in the leather circus night, Halloween night. And I, that is, that's her, but that's, she's not wearing the beard, so she's not the bearded lady, so it's not that night. But I don't know what it is, and it's a terrible picture, so it's all in the trash. Um, Greg Cox, in the priest outfit uh, that we bought by Jay Bourne in front of him. Girl, I do not need pictures of Greg Cox carried around. I mean, I've got enough. Um, this is Saucy, Jeremy, and, oh, good lord. 
I feel bad. I should know the other one's name, but I don't. Jeremy and somebody. So I'll say Jeremy and somebody. Uh, Halloween. Nola. Um, the Mr. Macho Man number. Me and Christian. I never did like this one because we're both a little disjointed. <gasps> oh my god! That's a picture of myself doing a fabulous number. There are better pictures. Um, <laughs> Lady Carolyn always had these exotic men dripping all over her, and uh, I, I don't remember his name, but yeah, I, I don't think he spoke much English, whatever his name was. Um, it was a mobile. Lady Carolyn and her men. Oh, what's this? This feels interesting. Oh, time's up. Um, it's a, it's a kind of a diagonal photograph of Scott Garrett from the clown, I mean the circus night. Um, let me just grab one more thing and we'll, this will be it. Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Um, oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, this, uh, bow is, uh, Saucy Steve Brownfield's boyfriend. Bo Robertson, and you probably can't see it unless you can see well, but it's me as Jason, like, lurking behind him. <laughs> I kind of love that photograph because the lurking. Uh, that goes in Noah. Um, let me just look in here. <sighs> yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I've got at least one more episode, at least. Um, so, I'll see you next time. Ah, oh! My legs fell asleep while I was doing that.